is a story from the rainforest. It's called Papageo. The big noisy parrot woke with the sun and he began to make noise and mischief. He flew through the bushes and scattered the butterflies. He stole bananas from the monkeys and he dropped nuts, clink, clink, clunk, on the shell of the armadillo. Wherever he went, he made noise and mischief. The night creatures were trying to sleep. They were awake all night, but in the daytime, they rested. Please, Papageo, not so loud. Papageo, please be quiet. Papageo, shut your beak. Well, when the sun went down, Papageo flew to a branch and settled himself for the night. And the night creatures came out to gaze lovingly at their beautiful sugar moon and sing soft songs to it. By the light of the silvery moon, we'll sing a tune. When the hour is late, we'll croon. Sugar moon, keep a shining in June. Your silvery beams will bring sweet dreams. We'll be sleeping at noon. You're our silvery moon. Well, when the sun came up, the night creatures would go to bed. Papageo made noise. It made it very hard for the night creatures to sleep. One day, the slow sloth with his long claws hung from a branch and spoke to that noisy bird. Papageo, don't you know, we need to sleep at night, at, at, in the daytime. You are busy then but you're so noisy and you keep us awake. But why don't you sleep at night? Why are you not awake in the daytime? The sloth tried to explain it to him. It's so bright and noisy in the daytime. We like it better at night. Why? It's so bright and noisy in the daytime, it makes us feel afraid. Afraid? Afraid? How can you be happy if you're always afraid? And Papageo twirled around the branch he was perching on and flew away. Later, the sun went down and the moon came up and the night creatures sang their sweet songs. Far away, under the ruined stones of an ancient city, a creature awoke. Something stirred. It was a bony, ghostly moon dog. He crawled out from under the great stones and jumped into the sky. He sniffed. And all along his bony body, he took a deep breath. Mm, he could smell that sweet sugar moon. He saw it up in the sky. His great long tongue rolled out of his mouth and he licked his lips. And now he trotted straight toward the moon. The night creatures noticed. Oh, they all gasped to watch that bony moon dog approach their beautiful moon. Oh no, what is that? What is it doing? In horror, the night creatures watched 
as that bony moon dog put one paw on their beautiful silvery moon and opened his mouth. And now, as they watched, that bony moon dog took a bite out of the moon. <gasps> no! Oh, stop! Don't hurt our moon! The moon dog chewed and crunched. Mm, that moon was delicious. But now he turned around and trotted back across the sky. The night creatures were so relieved. Maybe he's finished. Maybe he's not hungry anymore. Maybe he'll leave our moon alone. The moon dog dove under the tumbled stones of the ruined city. The next night, the night creatures assembled to see what would happen. And just as before, the moon dog trotted across the sky, made his way directly to their beautiful moon and <laughs> took another great bite out of it. Oh, it hurt them all just to watch as he chewed <laughs> and squallowed. Now the moon dog turned around and trotted back across the sky and dove under the ruins. But he came back night after night for a week. The moon dog feasted on the beautiful silvery moon until on the last night, there was just a tiny sliver left. When the sun came up, the night creatures were so upset that they couldn't go to sleep. Papageo found them. Car, car, car. It's a little past your bedtime, isn't it, friends? What are you doing up? It's not funny, said the taper. No, said the bats. This is serious. There's a horrible moon dog eating our moon and he's gotten fat chewing on it all this week. Now there's only one tiny sliver, a crescent left. And if he comes back tonight and eats that, there'll be no moon at all. And we can't do anything. What? You can't do anything? Of course you can. You can always do something. My friends, you know I sleep at night, but tonight I'll stay awake to help you. We'll all get together and find a way to fix this. Well, the day went on and finally the sun set and all the night creatures gathered around. Papageo was taking a nap. But when the night creatures saw the moon dog trotting toward their tiny slivered moon, they gasped so loud <gasps> that it woke up Papageo. Oh, look at that monster, he said. I know what to do. Make noise. Everyone, make as much noise as you possibly can. Now all the night creatures began to squawk and scream and squeak and howl. If they didn't make noise, they grabbed sticks and they beat them together. They shook the bushes and Papageo made as much noise as he could. Up in the sky, the moon dog, ow! was so surprised to hear all that noise that he turned from that sliver moon and trotted back across the sky and dove under the tumbled stones of the ruined city. We did it! Hooray! He's gone! Our moon is still there, cried all the night creatures. But don't forget, said Papageo, now that he's had a taste of that delicious moon, he'll be back. But now you know what to do, don't you? Don't you?
but there was no answer. All the night creatures had already fallen sound asleep. The sun came up and Papageo began to make noise and mischief. Kara, 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 he cried and woke up every one of those night creatures but not one of them complained. And that's the story of Papageo. Yeah.